It opens um, at dawn in a Roman amphitheatre just outside Sirencester in the Cotswold in the present day. It's there, this amphitheatre. I've been there. It's yeah. an incredible structure. I'm amazed it's not more famous, like Stonehenge or the Baths in Bath. But anyway, it's there. It, it, it could seat 8,000 people in the first century AD. It's an incredible monument. The police arrive because they've been called by local people who've heard some odd noises in the night, screams and yelps. So these two coppers walk in, a man and a woman, and it's deserted, as they expected, but right in the middle of this auditorium is a big wooden X cross standing upright, about eight feet high. And they think, what's that? And they walk towards it and they realise as they get closer and the light's getting stronger as the sun comes up that there's something on the other side of it. They're approaching it from behind. So the more experienced copper says, look, leave this, leave this oh, to me. Oh, I know where we're and going. And he walks round and there's a man who's been crucified. Right. He's very dead. He's upside down, and that's the way the Romans crucified St. Peter yeah. and other saints. Uh, it's a ritual extrajudicial execution. So the two big questions at the end of chapter one are, who is this man uh, and who did it and why? And it's no plot spoiler for me to tell you that the man is a 40-something troll. He's an internet troll, and he's a wicked, wicked person. His thing, he lives with his... The man who's been crucified. The man who's been crucified, the dead man, he's a troll. He's in his 40s, or was in his 40s. He lives with his parents uh, at their house in Bristol. He's never left home. He lives in the box room upstairs all day. And his thing is to go on the internet and gate crash into teenage girls' chat rooms under the guise of being a teenage girl. He calls himself Rosie, says Mm. he's 15, and he is... Brilliant at it. He's brilliant at impersonating online, teenage speak, girls speak, all the rest of it. And his thing is to pick the most vulnerable girl in the group, and he's very good at doing that too, hiving her off, developing a one-to-one relationship online with her over the weeks and months to come, and getting her to do two things. Self-harm, gets his kicks from that, but his big kick is if he can get her to kill herself. 